Hi everyone and welcome back. So we are beginning another session and this time around we'll be having Stephen Polo who will be taking us through in an emotion B2C use case. So Stephen Colo is the founder and president of Web Mechanic. And since 2015, Web Mechanic Automation has been offering an alternative. Since 2015, Web Mechanic Automation has been offering an alternative to proprietary and expensive automation marketing solutions, such as Market Tool, Oracle, Heylook, Salesforce products or upspots. Stephanie is also the co-author of the re reference book, Marketing Automation. Please your customer accelerate your business. All right, so Stephanie, Stephanie will be taking us through in and motion business to consumer in this case. And um, welcome, Stephanie. Thank you, Toby. Uh, thank you right, and uh, welcome uh, to everybody. All right, great. So I will leave you on to your session. So we we'll talk again after your session for question and answer. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, Sabi. Uh, so uh, thank you for the presentation. So I'm very proud to uh, to, uh, to to make this presentation to the Moticon 2021. And um, I would like to, congr to congratulate uh, all the, the Motic uh, community and members uh, for all the job you do, not only today and for these two-day sessions, but uh, during all along the year uh, for your contribution. And uh, it helps a lot because it's our DNA to do, today to, uh, to work with the Motic community and to work in open source. Uh, just a few words about one mechanic. We provide uh, uh, Motic uh, as a service uh, software. So uh, we provide Motic for our customers. Uh, we have customers uh, uh, from a small, medium business uh, to a large account like banking, insurance, or retails. And uh, we are just after the Motic community. Uh, we are the second contributor to the community. And uh, we work a lot on that. Uh, we have as customers uh, more than 70 agencies. Uh, we work uh, in indirect uh, through the, the independent software vendor as well, uh, such as CRM vendors or ERP vendors. And the last one uh, who joined us uh, is in Sweden and is receiving us uh, uh, in, in, uh, in, in, we uh, read and replaced an American solution he was receiving before um, just because of uh, new regulation in Europe. So it's, uh, it's a chance to us. And uh, we, uh, we, uh, we try out the GDPR, G GDPR uh, requirements uh, in uh, Europe as well. So uh, our goal is to be uh, the, the, main, uh, the main solution in Europe uh, uh, in opposition to uh, the software, the American software vendor. Uh, we pay special attention to uh, the relationship we have with our customers, and uh, especially we uh, provide uh, a full onboarding uh, through a dig digital uh, training uh, available 24-7 uh, for our customers so they can uh, access to the, the training not only on the onboarding stage, but as well uh, during all along the year, uh, and uh, it's uh, very, uh, very powerful uh, as most of the customers are lacking of uh, competencies uh, sometimes three months or six months after their onboarding. Um, so today we are talking about uh, in and motion. Uh, the in and motion, just a few figures about our in and motion. Uh, in and motion, 90% uh, of their converted leads at least have open one email uh, during uh, the customer journey. Uh, so it means uh, that the digital is just uh, the, the main way to access to the customers uh, in B2C today when you are a startup. I remember uh, in motion started from scratch uh, five years ago, and now they are over 4 million uh, euro uh, turnover, and uh, they made uh, 10 million dollars funding to uh, accelerate their growth. So uh, digital is uh, more than important. It's uh, strategic. Second figures I want to uh, show up is uh, that 70% of, uh, of the newsletter, uh, they have a 70% of opening rates uh, to their newsletter. 
That means that email is not dead. Email is uh, the main way to access to, to your customer, to your prospects. And uh, if your content is, uh, is right, uh, if you give the right content at the right moment to the right people, uh, you have huge uh, opening rates and uh, the contents are, are, are accessed. Last figures I want to show up is uh, that uh, they, 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 they had a lot of, a huge amount of sleeping leads. And thanks to the automation, uh, they, uh, they have a huge trans transformation rate, 150% uh, uh, on the sleeping leads. It, it wouldn't be uh, uh, possible to, to do that without the automation uh, because their staff uh, was uh, 20 people last year, now 40 people across uh, three countries. So it's not a, it's not a lot. And uh, the, only the automation can, uh, can enable uh, to uh, uh, generate uh, such uh, such a sort of transformation rate. Uh, a few words uh, about uh, Inner Motion. Inner Motion is a, an airbag company, and uh, they they have uh, hardware. Uh, they sell a, a hardware uh, jacket. Uh, you can buy it uh, on uh, motorbike uh, suppliers uh, anywhere, and they provide as well uh, an algorithm an algorithm who uh, um, decide uh, at what time uh, the airbag uh, should open up. And um, this algorithm is uh, improving uh, all the time. And it's a revolution in the airbag and uh, they put this revolution, 90% of their customers are uh, bikers, but 10% of uh, their customers are as well uh, uh, ski, uh, uh, ski sportives and uh, they use it for horses as well. Uh, so the revision is uh, as well uh, in the business model. Uh, they, uh, uh, they have decided to, uh, to, to come from a one-time purchase of uh, the airbag to a subscription, subscription model. And uh, it's a real revolution in, in this area and uh, it helps them to, uh, to increase their sales uh, as they don't have to restart each year uh, to uh, sell to the customer. They need to attract, to, to convert, and then to keep the customer happy enough to uh, resubscribe every year. And uh, it works very well. 80% uh, of uh, their customers uh, are uh, based on the subscription model. Um, it's a performance, but for, for to, to, to access this performance, you uh, really need to automate all your business because you need first to attract, uh, second to close, and then uh, to uh, nurture your, your customer to keep the attention on uh, what, uh, uh, what are the main benefits they have, uh, to share experience, uh, experience from the others, experience of accident, ex experience through the, the Moto Grand Prix, uh, through the Dakar, for, for instance. Uh, they have a third of, uh, of, uh, of the bikers in the Dakar and the Grand Prix who are using in motion airbag. Um, a few words about their, uh, how they, 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 they started. Uh, so I started in 2014 uh, with the ski. <laughs> now 90% of the business are, are in the motorbike uh, area, but uh, they started in, in the ski area. And uh, uh, the first uh, customer uh, who was a user tester uh, started in March uh, 2015. One year later, they, they, they got 1,000 users, uh, mainly in France, uh, 30,000 users one year later. And now they have 200,000 users through three different countries in France, in Germany, and uh, in the United States. Uh, as I was saying, they have, um, uh, they, are, they are founded, uh, they, they made uh, a 10 million uh, euro uh, uh, subscription uh, to accelerate this growth. And uh, the automation was uh, something uh, really needed uh, to convince the investors uh, in this round. The three challenges uh, they faced uh, to, uh, uh, to, uh, to, to be able to accelerate their growth 
uh, was one first uh, to boost the lead conversion rate. This is a KPI very important for the investors. How can you accelerate your business and uh, how, uh, wh what are your main processes uh, to convert your, uh, your, uh, your, your prospect to uh, customers? Uh, so they, they had to, uh, uh, to present uh, an automation strategy uh, to uh, how they adapt their message, uh, how regular they, ha they have a conversation uh, with uh, their customers and uh, their prospects. And this is uh, one very important thing that they had to, uh, uh, to show to the investors be before the, the foundings. The second challenge is, uh, was to optimize the prospect communication because they have different bike, kind of bikers. You have uh, usual bikers uh, who use uh, the motorbike when it's shining uh, just to go to, to the office like I do. Uh, and uh, you have sportive ones uh, who uh, are making Grand Prix or uh, are, are running on circuits. Uh, they are urban, urban uh, users uh, with a scooter, for, for instance, and it's completely different. The, the pains, the, the, the objective, uh, the, the way uh, you communicate with them, uh, they have different environments. So it's very important to adapt the communication uh, through the, those different segments. And third challenge they had is to uh, be able to duplicate uh, the strategies and the, 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 the scenario, uh, the campaigns, uh, and the, to adapt uh, the campaigns to the diff three different uh, local markets. And uh, without uh, allocating too much, uh, too much resources, as uh, they are very few in the company, uh, you are never enough in a company when you are a startup. Uh, it's not a challenge, but uh, the, that was a requirement before starting the project. Uh, that was a synchronization with uh, the, their CRM, uh, which is a Salesforce, a Sales Cloud. And uh, we had to manage this uh, synchronization just not only on the, the beginning, on the onboarding uh, phase of a project, but as well all along the project, because they are changing that process uh, regularly. So we have to change the synchronization with Sales for Sales Cloud uh, as well uh, in the same time. If you don't do that, uh, you, uh, you have crappy data in your CRM or in your uh, Motic automation system. So it's very important to synchronize the synchronization uh, depending on the different strategy. The methodology to, uh, to start the project with, with them uh, is always the, the same. First, you need to define your personas. So I was telling you about the, the, the bikers, uh, uh, as usual, uh, the, 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 the performance bikers, uh, the people who use the motorbike in city mainly uh, or uh, in trial. Uh, so you have different uh, targets and you need to segment your database. Uh, th second, you need to determine your final goal. What do you want to uh, to 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 uh, your your prospect or your customer uh, do at the end of this scenario? Uh, and third step is to uh, uh, define the different step of uh, your customer journey during uh, this uh, this process. The fourth one is to create the appropriate content depending on the segment you are uh, facing in this uh, scenario uh, or trigger. Um, you have the, the four different uh, uh, phases uh, on, the, on every stage of a customer journey to attract, to qualify, to nurture, and to retrain, uh, coming from a leads to go to a brand ambassador at the end of the day. Uh, what they decided to do is to uh, focus on the nurturing uh, why, why is that? It's because uh, they, 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 their product is very attractive to people. So they don't need to uh, put too much attention on that. It's pretty easy to attract people on the website because they have a new technology. They have a new approach with their business model, with their subscription model. So it's pretty attractive. It's pretty easy as well to qualify because on their website, they have different content, uh, which is very easy to qualify uh, if people are interested by the, for the airbag for a motorbike or for a ski, uh, and if it is for a motorbike, for what kind of use of a motorbike. Uh, but the thing is, uh, they were uh, losing a lot of uh, attention between the, the qualifying uh, 
uh, phase and uh, the closing phase. And the, 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 the scenario uh, are focusing on the nurturing to uh, help people from the interest to the closing. So what we did is to uh, define, uh, as I was saying in this, uh, for this conference, for this session, is uh, I had three different scenarios, uh, which was uh, which were very uh, performant uh, to uh, to for in motion. Uh, in, instead of that, we have just one. We have just one because it's one we duplicate uh, for the different segments, and uh, that's a good news. You you can have a very simple scenario to implement and having very good performance indeed. Uh, so this scenario is always the same. We duplicate it, we change the, the content, uh, and we have a different segment uh, to start this trigger. Uh, this trigger is starting once the customer uh, um, is uh, is coming to to the website and uh, has a first interest and is asking for question about uh, where is my uh, uh, my shop supplier uh, the nearest from my home uh, to check a video uh, or anything uh, available on the website. Uh, the goal of this scenario uh, is the closing is to close the deal and uh, to make uh, the prospect uh, subscribe to uh, to uh, the uh, algorithm and we are using three emails one video and one use case so it's pretty easy i mean to uh, to engage uh, the people uh, with uh, with this uh, with this scenario and the only thing we have to do is to adapt the contents uh, depending on the different segment uh, we are starting with this scenario uh, at the, the at the beginning of course we do uh, a b testing all the time in uh, for every segment, because you may uh, consider some difference uh, of uh, transforming uh, a prospect to a deal, uh, depending on the on the segment, depending on the season, because it's uh, uh, you know in winter it's uh, it's uh, harder to uh, to convert people or to attract people on the motorbike. It's easier in summer uh, because they are using their motorbike. <laughs> And uh, what we test, it's uh, it, the, the answer is everything. We test all the variation, but one by one, because if not, you are lost with all the KPI you uh, uh, you uh, you have. Uh, secondly, uh, you test all the different channels uh, you are using. Um, in this case, we use uh, the one main channel, is uh, which is uh, the email. And uh, be careful about the statistics because not all the statistics statistics can uh, speak by themselves. So sometimes you may uh, go wrong uh, considering some statistics. So be careful with that. And it's very uh, important to have a data scientist experience uh, to uh, to test your KPI and how to uh, uh, interpret them. Uh, fourth, uh, you can draw a conclusion about the metrics you have uh, because you have metrics. It's not just an intuition. It's uh, something you confirm or not with the metrics you have. Uh, in marketing, it's different of communication. Communication is, uh, is it beautiful or not? Uh, do I prefer the red or blue? Uh, in marketing, the metrics uh, is the only thing you have to focus on because uh, if you have a 80% conversion on the red, you don't put the blue. The lead scoring is very important at this stage as well. Uh, we put some scoring points every time a, a user access to a new content on the website, uh, want to download a, a white paper, uh, or is uh, accessing to a, a new video. And uh, it's very important uh, to uh, to make these metrics not only to convert uh, uh, prospects to customers, but as well with the, the existing customers. Uh, as uh, they are nurturing a lot of uh, their, their their current customers to uh, to help them to to be part of a, of a family of a in main motion family, uh, so it's important to see if the contents are uh, adapted to uh, to their audience. 
Um, four more metrics uh, I can give you about uh, in and motion uh, performance uh, on the marketing automation strategy. 10% of their new customers uh, are coming through the digital way. So it's, uh, it, it may be, uh, it may be uh, not be so important for you because 10% uh, uh, is not a few, but uh, in the motorbike area, uh, Many the, the most of the time you don't do uh, so much e-commerce. Um, most of the time you go to your shop and you uh, you make a deal in in the shop. So ten percent coming from the digital is is great to start. And uh, the objective is to uh, to uh, to to have more than fifty percent in the next uh, few months. So uh, it's a huge challenge, and they put a lot of money on that. Um, the strategy has been duplicated in the three different countries. So in America, uh, in the United States, uh, in Germany, uh, and of course in France, but it started in France first. Uh, at this stage, uh, they didn't do a much difference between the different uh, countries, but uh, uh, in the next few months, maybe they, they, they do different things. Uh, they are testing new strategy, especially in the US, as they have a very experienced uh, uh, chief marketing officer uh, who, who is testing a different uh, kind of scenario. And sometimes uh, there is a scenario um, especially made for a country uh, or locally, and sometimes new scenario can be duplicated for different countries. Still, it's a question of uh, A-B testing you do, a uh, question of metrics and performance uh, you measure. Um, third figures is uh, that 40% of the average emails uh, are opened uh, during the nurturing process. So remember, you, uh, we, we were saying that 70% of uh, email were open, open up um, uh, on the on first stage. Uh, but uh, uh, during all the, during the nurturing stage, it's 40%. It's very important, uh, very important uh, rate. And uh, it may be explained because uh, uh, the content is very well adapted to uh, for each segment as well. And uh, lucky guys, they just have a two percent uh, churn rate, uh, so it's a very good job uh, indeed, and it helps to increase the business because uh, when you are in a subscription model, uh, you need two things: you need to attract uh, new customers, and you uh, you need to keep them. Uh, happy and to keep them with you. Uh, so two percent is a very exceptional uh, rate uh, they they have, uh, but they need to uh, to. So what it says it says that it's not so important to work on that aspect right now. Uh, right now they have this good rate, so they will work on uh, on the scenario uh, for uh, keeping uh, their customers uh, active uh, in the next couple of years, but. At the moment, it's not something very necessary. Next challenges they have uh, is uh, to uh, progress on the upsell. Uh, today, uh, once the customer is uh, getting his uh, subscription and using uh, the the, uh, the jacket with the algorithm, uh, the airbag algorithm, uh, the in a notion knows about it because of a GPS location, uh, because uh, they have statistics. So they know if people are using or not uh, the jacket. And if they are using a lot of jackets, uh, it could be a good proposal to, uh, to propose um, to someone, where, so someone else uh, in the family, uh, within the family to, uh, to use it as well. So you can make upsell uh, within the same community of uh, users. Uh, second thing is a cross selling. You can sell additional products uh, to the uh, airbag uh, as well. Just one example: it's the automatic emergency alert. The automatic emergency alert is uh, when you are falling with your motorbike, your airbag uh, is uh, uh, open up, and uh, then you receive a call on your mobile phone to check if you, everything is alright, if you are okay, and if you don't answer the call then uh, the, the call center is uh, sending the emergency to the GPS point where you, you were falling. So it's a very, uh, very great uh, option you can add to, uh, uh, to the cart of your current customers. 
Uh, third uh, challenge they will have to face is their customer retention as well. So I was saying they have a, they have a two percent uh, churn rate uh, at the moment. Um, maybe when they we have a, a wider uh, number of uh, customers, it, it will be a concern as, at this moment. So uh, a, a good a good thing is to uh, to create a club uh, somewhere you can uh, meet people uh, with uh, especially within the motorbike community it's uh, uh, a community where people like to, uh, to say hello when they, they cross uh, uh, in the street uh, or on the road and they, they, they like to make uh, some road trip all together so uh, it could be a good idea to create clubs uh, depending on the different segments as well so this is it. Uh, uh, as you may see, it's uh, pretty simple to uh, to make uh, a new startup uh, uh, with a subscription model in a B2C area uh, to create first scenario and with great results uh, right away. And uh, these results have decided the investors to invest in the in motion company, and they had them to uh, to uh, to reach their goals. Uh, during uh, the next uh, couple, uh, last couple of months, but uh, as well uh, at the moment uh, to accelerate their growth. This is it. So, Toby, uh, I let you uh, maybe uh, let me know if there is uh, some uh, new question uh, coming. All right. Thanks so much, Stephen. That was a very brilliant presentation. Okay, so let's quickly move on to question and answer. So the first question I will be asking you here is um, so the first person I'll be asking you apps to do me. How long does it take to implement this? That's a very good question here because most of our prospects are asking us this question uh, uh, during uh, the first phase. Uh, it really depends on what uh, what is your goal, but uh, most of the time we uh, we try to uh, to understand uh, where we should focus first, and uh, most of the customer just like in this case, uh, but that was a startup. This is why uh, they want to focus on the acquisition of customers. Uh, most of the time, it's uh, even more interesting to focus on the existing customers because you have a better return on investment, uh, helping your customer to uh, to, uh, um, to 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 make some uh, upselling or cross sellings. But in this case, uh, it took one month. One month to, uh, to, to make the strategy, to implement the strategy, and to make the synchronization with the CRM, uh, which is Salesforce. So one month to implement the first scenario. It's not too much. The biggest challenge uh, is not to implement uh, uh, a Motic uh, automation. Uh, it's to, uh, to have uh, uh, the ability to create all the contents you need uh, to, to track. Uh, to track your prospect, to track your customers, and uh, to make this logical of, uh, of the automation um, available in the mindset of uh, other people in the marketing first, but in the sales uh, in the sales team as well, and um, to, uh, to 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 make it logical for everybody in the company, and it takes some time. All right, All right great. Right. Okay, so let's talk about the finance, the budget part, the finance. So, how, how do you go about it? Uh, it, it really depends uh, on the number of contacts you, you have uh, for uh, the software uh, side. Um, in this case, it was uh, 30,000. We started with 30,000 uh, uh, contacts, I guess. Uh, but the, the two thirds of, 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 of the of the cost uh, is about uh, creating the the content. Uh, is about uh, uh, the the salary of the people who takes care of the automation, the data scientist, uh, and so on and so on. So uh, the minimum budget uh, was about uh, thirty thousand uh, euro. Uh, to uh, to start this project, but you have to invest every year, every year, every year. Uh, so if you want to invest under ten thousand euro, I guess it's not an automation project you have. It's more an email automation uh, mode with Mailchimp or Sending Blue, for for instance, that you can use. Uh, but the, the two third of a project uh, of a budget for a project uh, is uh, is is. Uh, is on the salary uh, and uh, and creating the, the contents. The software is only a, a third of, a, of the project. All right, cool. 
All right, so one more question for you. So um, that has to do with, um, based on these scenarios that you've shared, is there like a cultural differences based on countries? Uh, in this case, not yet, <laughs> I would say, because they don't have enough experience to to, sh to show this. Uh, it may have sometimes some uh, cultural difference because uh, the, the 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 way you commit people uh, is not the same in the different countries. I mean, in the United, United States, uh, it's easier to have a. Um, a business conversation with the people, especially in B two C, in European countries and in Latin countries, uh, it may be some difference. You 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 may use some indirect uh, way to to make the business. So it really depends on your business. But you have to test that. Okay, you have to test that with A/B testing, and uh, you depending on your metrics, you decide if you test something else or if you keep uh, your scenario like it is uh, now. No more questions, Toby? All right, good. All right, good, Stephen. Thank you so much for your um, time. Um, this was really nice. And um, thanks for sharing those scenarios and how you can help to help any other person that might want to. All right, thanks so much for your time. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, good.